This video will demonstrate how to record the sale of an asset using a note receivable and also provide the journal entry for the first payment from the buyer. This one, this reference, you know, to assume the same role as in problem 3.4, you actually don't need anything on 3.4 to do this. So last year, a company exchanged a piece of land for a note. Fine. The note is 15000 per year for nine years, beginning one year from the date of disposal, which is basically one year from now. So that tells you end mode using 11% interest and a cost of $90,000. What do you think the fair value of this note would be? When we say fair value, we mean present value because it's so easy to say, oh, fair value, FV, that's the same as FV in the calculator, but that's actually future value. So be very careful. Fair value means the present value of PV. The 15,000 is the payment. The 11 is the IY and N is nine. And your calculator is in end mode. So from left to right, you got nine N, 11 IY, 15,000 PMT and zero FV, 83, zero, five, five or five, six. Don't worry about the rounding. To reiterate what's going on here is the company has a piece of land and they're basically selling it, but instead of getting it for cash, they're selling it in exchange for a note, an interest bearing note. So using the PV, this is saying, well, the present value of the land is 83,000, but the original cost on the land was 90. Here, this is part A. Part B here is gonna be the journal entry. We are going to debit a note receivable for 83056 because that's what the present value of the note is. We're going to credit land for its carrying value of 90,000. And its carrying value is equal to the original cost, right? Because land is a non-depreciable asset. So there is no accumulated depreciation on land. This should also be some review as well. And there's no indication that the land had undergone any impairment. And if we take the difference between our debits and credits, we can see that in order to make this balance, we need a debit of 6944. And that has to be a loss on disposal. And the first payment, a year from now, there's going to be a payment that you will receive because you are selling the land and you're issuing a note, which means the buyer is paying you $15,000 a year. So you're going to debit cash for $15,000 and you're going to have interest revenue now because this is an interest bearing note. So you're going to have interest revenue and that interest would be 83056, which is the balance on the note times 11%. So that is interest revenue of 9136. And your journal entry doesn't balance. So you need something else to make a balance of 5864. And this is a credit to the note receivable. Here's what happens. The note receivable is an asset. It's basically a loan that you've made to somebody. And it's now carried at 83056. And with each payment of $15,000, that includes both principal and interest. So after 15 years, once the note is paid, this should be zero. There won't be anything left on the note because it's paid. And every year, you're going to have amortization of this principal amount. So this is 5864 after the first year, which leaves a balance of 77192. That's what would be left on the loan after the first year. Then you would calculate the interest on that and then subtract from the payments to get the next year's interest. So this 5864 is the amortization of the principal, which is the $15,000 payment minus 83056 times 11%. And that happens every year, every year. And as the interest portion of the payment drops, because this 15,000 is a blended payment between principal plus interest. And if you look at a car loan or um, an amortization of uh, of a mortgage, the amount of interest with each payment gets smaller and smaller, and the amount of principal gets bigger and bigger. So what would happen is this amount, and I'll just do it quick for the second year. So 77,192 times 11% is 8,491 minus the $15,000 payment. Next year's amortization is 6,509. And then the year after that, it would be bigger and bigger to help this number get down to zero over nine years.